Grace, peace, and mercy be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. Yes. Welcome to Life in the Word. Mm -hmm. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Please like, subscribe to um, Life in the Word. Tell somebody about it. Well, we've been talking about Jeremiah, talking about don't trust in lying words. A lot of us are trusting in lying words, man, mm -hmm. because sometimes we go, you go into church, you know, you find the church that speak to you, to what you want, not to really the way you really are. And people keep saying that, oh, oh, you know what? Um, um, this word is hard in the church. I don't believe what any other word to be, you know, every word should create a crisis in your life for you to change, not just words to make you feel good. You know, we go to church, it makes you feel good, but you know in your heart, it, don't, it didn't deal with your condition. Mm -hmm. It didn't deal with your heart. It didn't deal with your sin. It didn't deal with your ways. It didn't deal with your attitude. Mm -hmm. And you're still the same. You know, if, if, it's, if, if you want to leave church and you remain the same, you shouldn't come to church. That's, that's my opinion. Because I'm not going to come to church and spend two, three hours and hear about certain things. Yeah, if I have a condition, if my condition is finances, if my condition is sin, I want to hear about God's deliverance and God's power to make me free. But I, I don't want to be lied to. You know, by you telling me something, that's what we call flattery. Or you telling me, you know I'm wicked, but you're telling me I'm good. No, no, tell me I'm wicked, you know. Just like you don't want to go to your doctor and you're sick, but you tell him, oh, tell me I'm good anyway, but you're dying. You're dying. You want your doctor to tell you the truth. You want your preacher to tell you the truth about the condition of your life and that you need to change. Because at the end of the day, what happened when you meet Jesus, you want to meet God with a consciousness that you've done everything he wants you to do and you're living according to his will and to his way. Because if you are, because let me tell you something, the reason we're scared of death, we, know we ain't been living life the right way. If, you ain't, if, you, if you're not been living life the right way, the way God wants you to do it, you're gonna be fear of death. But you know, the Bible said there's no fear in love. If I've been doing everything he wants me to do and living my life in my consciousness, I know I have live according to his word. Not my opinion, not to my, I think, the way I should live, but I live my life the way he wants me to live, then I know I have confidence in him. I have confidence. Yes. I'm, not, I'm not thinking about judgment. I'm not thinking about anything else. But the reason I'm saying that many of us in the church, I'm not talking about my church and the people in the church or anything. I'm talking about church in general throughout the whole world, that we go to church every Sunday. The preacher told us every good thing that we want to hear. Because we pick church that don't talk about your sins, that don't talk about your situation, mm -hmm. that don't talk about you got to change, that don't talk about you got to let go. Because we all have secret lives, the truth be told. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all of us have secret lives. All of us are working towards holiness. All of us are working, yeah, yeah, by faith and everything else. But, you know, it's not just by faith, but there's some things you got to let go of in your life that you know God is not pleased with. And if not, there's going to be judgment. Well, Israel got so bad on thinking that they were never going to be judged. Mm -hmm. And Jeremiah was come to tell them, I think in the first um, chapter 1 to very, very first, maybe 14, 15 chapter, he was telling them to change because there was still a chance. God sent a preacher to preach to them because there's still a chance for them to turn around their life, to turn around their sin, mm -hmm. so that judgment will not come and the mercy of God will come upon their life. Now look at this, um, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 5 to 7. He began of God's holy word. He said, But I will, the Lord, he said, Don't just say the Lord's temple is there, the Lord's temple. But he said, But I will be merciful only if you stop your evil thoughts mm -hmm. and deeds and start treating each other with justice. Mm -hmm. Right? But what God said, I will be merciful to those who make an effort to change. Yeah. Right? I, mm -hmm. Now, if God wanted to judge us real bad in our condition, I would have been judged. Mm -hmm. You would have been judged. All of us would have been judged. But he said, even from from priests to the pews to everybody, he said, look, man, I'm not in a hurry to judge you. I'm not in a hurry to kill you. I'm not in a hurry to bring judgment over your life. But I'm giving you a chance to change. Yes. I'm giving you a chance to repent. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you a chance to get it right. You, you, you understand? So you got to you gotta make sure that you're not living your life according to the culture. I'm not living my life according to my opinion. 
but I'm living my life the way God wants me to live it. Yes. You understand? Yes. I'm living my life the way God wants me yes. to live it. But guess what happened? He said, if you stop doing what you're doing, if you amend your ways, mm -hmm. if you change your thoughts, if you change your ways, if you change the way you're thinking, right? If you change your ways, right? Um, uh, I'm going to keep you in your same life. I'm not going to send you to captivity. You understand? God not going to kill you, but he's going to take you out of your land, place of comfort, mm -hmm. and send you to a place of captivity. He said, don't be fooled by those who promise you safety because the Lord's temple is here. Right? Because the Lord's temple. Who was uh, giving them safety? The priests. The, the, lead, the spiritual leaders of the time mm -hmm. lost contact with God, Jesus. lost uh, relationship with God, and they were leading the people into a death valley. He said, don't listen to them. I know they tell me everything you want to hear, but I'm sending somebody to tell you the truth. Yeah. Like, unless you change, you got sin in your life, work on it. Mm -hmm. You got sin, uh, you live in a certain way that God don't want you to live, work on that. Let that yes. go. Repent to God and ask God to give you the strength to let go of those sins, to let go of the way you're living, to let go of the things you're doing, so there won't be no judgment in your life. Amen? Don't listen to everybody that, oh, you okay, girl. You okay, my man. You're all right, bro. Everything is good. You know what you're doing wrong. You know how you're living. Even if nobody knows, you know and God knows. But guess what happened? Some people will tell you, you're okay, and everything is all right in your life, and you don't need to make changes. That's why you need to look at God and His Word. If your life don't match His Word, if your life don't match the things He wants you to do, make the change. And guess what? He will give you the strength to change. He will help you in your change so that no judgment that you will not be moved from the place that he put you to be. Now look at this. But I will be merciful only if you stop your evil thoughts and deeds and start treating each other with what? Justice. It got so bad. Only if you stop exploiting foreigners, orphans, and widows. Only if you stop your murdering. Only if you stop harming yourself by worshiping idols. Mm -hmm. See, God give the condition for not being judged stop do right he said look I, I i'm not here to discuss anything else but I, you know i know you're sending but he's saying what do right mm -hmm. do right so no judgment will come to you yes, stop murdering and you know it, it um made me think about where i live in america where people just um living their life mm -hmm. and sin is everywhere yes. sin is everywhere in the nation we got, we got so comfortable with it that it don't bother us no more. Yeah. We got so comfortable with murder and killing on TV, on Netflix, and anything else you're watching that it don't even bother. We got, we got so people, and especially this nation, people are proud of sin. Oh, they're proud of sin, you know? And if anybody says something wrong about sin and the way they're living, they, they say to themselves, oh, you're not being loving. Mm -hmm. And they will cancel you because you speak the truth. So when we live in a nation like that, almost like Israel, back in the days of Jeremiah, where we think we are all right, where we think that we're not gonna be judged, where we think, we think that nothing's gonna happen, mm -hmm. God is sending people to tell us that we need to change, we need to be better. We can't be so stuck up in our ways and thinking our ways is okay, because if, you know, if some people feel like, well, if God was gonna judge, he would've judged already. Let me tell you something, God is the merciful God. God is the God of mercy. But instead of us changing, we're getting bold in our sin. Yes. We're getting strong in our sin. Mm -hmm. Like nobody can tell you nothing. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And we're getting worse and worse and worse and worse. The generations are getting worse and worse. Because guess what happened? They are so comfortable with sin. Mm -hmm. Because no judgment happened right away. But guess what? Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean judgment is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So we're telling people to the point that they're okay. Now even the church is with it. Even the church are telling the people they're okay with their sin. Uh -huh. They're coming, people are coming blunt, bluntly against God with relationship, mm -hmm. with uh, uh, homosexuality, lesbianism, and every way possible. Mm -hmm. He, she, they, and everybody coming out. And I'm not just, it just sin in general, mm -hmm. where we're comfortable with it, that if anybody tells you any different, you don't even want to hear the truth anymore. You feel you're okay in your own eyes. Mm -hmm. You feel, you know, because, because there's no God, I'm, I'm the God of my life. I'm going to do what I want to do. It does, if it's not bothering you, why Why do you care what I'm doing? That's how people say. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You know, guess what? It don't have to bother me. 
If it's bother, you don't have to answer to me either. You have to answer mm -hmm. to God because it's bothering God. And he's saying, point but if you don't change, I'm going to judge, judge you. I'm going to take you out the land. And Israel thought God was thinking and thinking that when God sends somebody to speak to us, that's his mercy and that's his grace. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So what God is calling us to amend our ways. Amen it. He, he understands he's not going to kill you right away. But he said, if you, if you make a change, whatever ideas I had towards you to judge you, I won't do it no more. So amend your ways. So don't listen to people telling you, hey, girl, you're all right. Keep doing what you're doing. You got one life. You know, <laughs> live the way you want. No, if I got one life, I want to live it for God. I don't want to live it for myself. Because what is the point for a man to get in the whole world and lose his life and lose my soul and lose my spirit? Amen. I don't want to uh, 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 live this life and you leave this physical body and you meet an angry God. So God, help us to amend our ways today. Help us to see the truth of our sins, our wrongs, yeah. no matter what other people are telling us. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's the church. I don't care if it's the preacher. I don't care if it's the culture. Give mm -hmm. us a heart to see ourselves yes. for, mm -hmm. for the truth of what we are and amend our ways. Amen. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have one thing to say to you. Jesus is Lord. God bless you.